Kelly isn't the only Temple student who is being affected by the new policy. Kelly Antonacci is live from Alter Hall with what the university is doing to help those students. Kelly, tell You're us You're right, Nigel, with 55 so students and back... That's right, Nigel. With 55 student and faculty members actually from the banned countries and dozens of other students concerned about what this new policy means for them, there's a lot of people Temple needs to keep informed. That's why President Englert sent an email out to the university almost immediately after it happened, stressing the message that international students are welcome here at Temple. Now, here's what President Englert said and again in his email just a few days ago. Quote, Temple prides itself on being a community of scholars, many of whom come to us from foreign nations. And he wasn't the only one to reach out. Temple's Office of International Affairs sent out their own email when students came to them questioning the executive order. Why us? Uh, we didn't do anything wrong. We are not terrorists. We are here students. Why are we being affected by this? Those are the questions students are asking in the wake of the president's seven-country immigration ban. Martin Miller works at the Office of International Affairs. He thought of those very students when he first heard the news. I am extremely concerned that they are taken care of and that they are receiving the right information and reacting as appropriately as they can. The concern is warranted. Some Muslim students are on edge. If I were to say like I wasn't on guard, if I wasn't going to say, like, I'm, my eyes are open, my ears are open, seeing what's going on, they definitely are. I have friends and family who are from those countries, and they're here on student visas or on green cards, and it puts their, their existence in America at risk in a way that I don't think we've ever faced before. That's why the university is trying to help with videos like this one from Global Temple. City of Brotherly Love and Temple University, you are welcome here. And with Education from Ideal, an organization promoting diversity. And the third bullet seems to be getting a lot of attention out there. They want students to know the facts. TSG President Aron Cohen is making sure these resources are used. And TSG is hosting their own events to showcase Temple's diversity. Uh, Temple was founded on diversity, on respect for each other, and on the idea that everyone deserves access to a quality education. And this flies in the face of all of that. Yeah, powerful words. Now, Aron, President Anglin, and Dr. Miller want all international students to know that in addition to the celebrations and the conversations, there are counseling services available. Tuttleman's doors are open, and so is the Office of International Student and Scholar Services if any international students have specific questions about the ban. Reporting from Alter Hall for Temple Update, I'm Kelly.